Welcome. Today we will be making wild grape jelly. As always, ensure that you are using multiple sources to identify your grapes, as there are some look-alike vines, for example, the Canadian moon seed. Sometimes other vines can be mixed in, so take care when collecting your grapes. Make sure to collect away from areas like roads that are polluted. Begin by removing grapes from the stems. Wash your grapes thoroughly. Put grapes into a pan with one fourth to one half cup of water for every four cups of grapes. Crush with a potato masher over medium high heat for about 10 to 15 minutes until the juice flows freely. Bring to a boil over medium high heat. Stir frequently. Once boiling, reduce heat and gently boil while continuing to crush grapes about 10 to 15 minutes. Continue until grapes are softened. Take the grapes off the heat and strain mixture to remove seeds. This can be done using a fine strainer. A dampened cheesecloth can be used to squeeze the remainder of the juice. Leave the strained juice overnight in the refrigerator, which will allow the sediment to settle to the bottom. In the morning, pour off the juice carefully, leaving the sediment on the bottom, and discard the sediment. Put the juice in a saucepan over medium-high heat and bring to a boil. When boiling, add sugar and bring back up to a full rolling boil. Boil quickly, stirring continuously. In order to determine when it is done, use a candy thermometer. Bring the mixture up to 220 degrees. Remove from heat and ladle into hot, sterilized jars leaving a quarter of an inch of headspace. I am a beginner when it comes to canning, so to get the precise canning instructions, I would recommend using a resource other than this. I used the Farmer's Almanac as my resource and put my cans in boiling water with about two inches of water over the top of them and boiled for 10 minutes. I removed them from the heat and I let them sit for about one week before opening. Good luck making your wild grape jelly and enjoy.